their last night in Australia and the perfect opportunity for the Duchess to bring out a cocktail dress. As the royal couple mingled with guests, there'll be a sense of relief, the tours being seen as a success. Reluctantly, Catherine, George and I leave Australia tomorrow. Thank you for the warmth and generosity that has been shown to us during our visit. We go away with wonderful memories and George goes away with his cuddly wombat, <laughs> which he has taken to chewing so lovingly. Earlier, William and Kate planted an oak tree, a symbol of strength and longevity, very fitting for a couple on a mission to keep royalty relevant in modern Australia. The Prime Minister, a well-known monarchist, continued the theme. Many decades hence, when a currently unknowable Australian Prime Minister welcomes your son, King George VII, to this building, that will be a sign of the stability and the continuity in the life of our nation. Before meeting well-wishers, the couple said in a statement they were saddened by the news of the sudden death of the Duchess of Cornwall's brother. But the tour continued as planned, with a visit to the National Portrait Gallery, where three-year-old Wilhelmina Dreghorn presented the Duchess with flowers. Well, I have no idea what they were talking about, but um, it looked very intimate. Uh, I had tears in my eyes. It was very sweet. It's been a long day. I was really nervous for her, but she did such a wonderful job. Did you like meeting the Duchess, Wilhelmina? The last three weeks have been full of this sort of thing. Lots of laughter, lots of handshakes and lots of smiles. But on Friday, the final day of this tour, the mood will become more sombre. It's Anzac Day when the couple will remember those who've given their lives serving their country. A fitting final day before a long journey home. Jonathan Samuels, Sky News, Canberra.